Right, if you're watching this, I assume you're having all sorts of trouble trying to install uh, East West uh, um, uh, packages of any description. Uh, I was trying to install the complete version, the complete composer, on uh, Windows 64 uh, or Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit. Um, the, uh, you could have a problem with 32 bit, I assume. Right, you're going to be getting errors. Uh, are possibly errors like 1721 uh, you're also going to be getting errors like uh, um, the uh, windows doesn't support this command uh, and an error occurred spelled incorrectly line 310 uh, and basically strange things happening um, the biggest problem you're going to have is that uh, it will install the software but not install all the actual sample files okay so uh, I've managed to get it all to work and I'm sorry, I am getting my... So I've got all my voices there, I've got all the problems solved, and so I'll take you through uh, what I've learnt. Okay, uh, the 1721 seemed like a bit of a red herring. Uh, a lot of sites say switch off your virus, software etc etc uh, I'm running Norton 360 and I switched that off and it made no difference um, I, one of the things that did seem to make a difference initially was to install the QuickTime um, latest QuickTime player uh, whether that was a red herring at this stage I don't know but I'll tell you on the basis of it's worth knowing uh, once I got things running, um, I left the uh, Norton sat running in the background, it didn't seem to bother it at all. It's worth pointing out that the uh, Native Instruments Complete uh, System, Complete 7, that installed in one go. Uh, long job, a lot of disks, but yes it installed in one go. Uh, the East West uh, is nice little portions and sections of disks, uh, but um, if you're having problems like I did, it's so frustrating. Uh, the big problem or the big solution seems to be in your user access control. If you don't know where your user access control is, if you type UAC into the help file it will actually bring it up and say user access control, give you a tab to go through to it and what you need to do is take the slider down to no error reporting. What, ha what seems to happen with the East West that didn't happen with the native uh, is um, when you're trying to install the software, it obviously goes off and tries to install all the libraries uh, and it's not doing it to um, the rules set out by Windows, which these days they won't allow you to break the rules, you used to be able to do, you can't now. Uh, and it's bombing the software, uh, meaning that you install your front end, there's a massive pause and it doesn't install all the um, uh, sample files. The net result being that once you do take the user access control to nothing, uh, so it's doing no reporting whatsoever, uh, it will just get on with doing the install. Uh, it does mean you have a window sat there uh, that says you have 35 seconds left in the install and you can be 3 hours watching this 30 seconds and it's worthwhile sliding that out of the way because sometimes you'll find that underneath it is the actual window that's saying next disk. Uh, so one of the things I did do, I've got a twin screen system, as soon as that started installing I slid it out of the way to make sure that I could see what was underneath it. That should solve 90% of your problems. The other thing you're going to need, you're going to need an iLock. Uh, it's recommended while you're doing the install that you take your iLock out. Apparently it can wipe the licenses, very rarely it does happen but can wipe the licenses. So if you've got two licenses on there uh, you could lose them while you're doing an install, so that's worth knowing. It's one of the things they don't tell you until afterwards. I'm lucky I didn't fall for that. I did all my install and then did all the unlocking. Uh, the latest update on site uh, will update your exe files in the uh, um, east west directory, but it won't actually update the icons on screen. So your shortcuts on screen, some of them will grey out, and you'll have to delete them and then put them back in. And then the last thing that you'll need, if you've got Word Builder uh, and the choirs, um, on the PC you'll have to go and find yourself a little virtual MIDI port. Uh, now then, uh, fortunately, if you're, I'm a, IT, a very IT based, but if you're not, all it is is a little bit of software that uh, creates a, a virtual port inside the machine 
that on this side you can plug the word builder in, on this side you plug the player. And what it does is, without actually having to have a cable running through loops, uh, it sends the MIDI commands from the word builder through to the um, uh, the actual player software, which is, has to be set up. Which go through that, actually go through the help file, ignore what it says, uh, put your keyboard as your input, and then put the virtual port, that, which you'll realise what they are once you've installed the virtual port software. Uh, I used uh, Loop BE30. Uh, if you could put Loop BE30 into any search engine you'll find that you'll get back to the company that makes that's 15 pounds uh, they also do a free one uh, which I didn't realize uh, having bought the V the, the difference being that the BE30 is a 64-bit version I think the three one free ones only 32 so basically you've got all your problems everything solved there the key is user access control uh, I lock out until right at the end do your update from um, uh, what is it right at the end from native, in, not native instruments, east west right at the end uh, and then correct all your icons, do your, uh, authorise your software uh, and then you'll also need the virtual interface and that should be all your problems. Now they tell, oh and the one last thing, the 64 bit won't run on um, uh, Acid Pro which uh, from a teacher's point of view I like Acid Pro because it, it, the, it will handle loops, it will handle wavs, it will handle MIDI <coughs> and it will also go straight through into the video uh, on the uh, Vegas Pro. So from a teaching point of view, one package and the kids can do everything. So they tell me they're going to look at it and come back to it. It'd be interesting to see how many other people have got uh, Acid and Vegas uh, who are also not getting the 64-bit and if you've got other pieces of software, tell me if your 64-bit's running. It'd be nice to know whether it is or it isn't. Uh, have fun out there and uh, you know, keep me informed. Thank you very much.